fix his macaw. The Spix's macaw, otherwise known as a blue macaw, was first spotted in Brazil in 1819. During this time, it was also considered that the species of bird was rare. In 1990, only one more Spix's macaw could be found in the wild, and in 2000, the species was considered extinct in the wild. However, thanks to the ACTP, Alwerba Wildlife Conservation and Preservation Organization, and the Nest Organization, there has been significant effort in growing the Spix's macaw population under captivity. So far, approximately 130 Spix's macaw exist under captivity around the world. The ultimate goal is to raise the population levels high enough to the point that the Spix's macaw can be re reintroduced into the wild, where they would be protected. The Spix's macaw is also a monogamous species, which means it mates with one mate for life. Thus, it's harder for the population to grow at a high rate. The two main reasons that the Spix's macaw has become endangered in the wild is because of illegal capturing and trafficking in the wild and because of habitat loss. Poachers and trappers found it easy to capture these rare birds and sell them for a high price. Along with that, the Spix's macaw is known to lay their eggs in the dead crowns of the Corbera tree, so it makes it easy for poachers and traffickers to find eggs in a certain region. Habitat loss has also proven to be a major issue for the Spix's macaw. The diminishing amount of land and trees means that there are less homes for the Spix's macaw. The Cribera tree that they are known to nest in were significantly depleted in the area they used to inhabit. Habitat loss and deforestation causes an issue with the biosphere, hydrosphere, and the atmosphere. The Spix's macaw population is so small that it has no noticeable effects on the ecosystem. The only partly noticeable effects on the ecosystem was the distribution of seeds from plants they ate. The favalera, cactus, and pinhao tree all provided the Spix's macaw with a source of food. However, there isn't a noticeable contribution by the Spix's macaw on the population of these trees and plants. It is also hard to tell because of the current deforestation in certain areas. An interesting fact that is pretty surprising is that the captured Spix's macaw could be sold at about $200,000 with no cost in capturing them. Another fact about the Spix's macaw is that it was a star in the animated film Rio, and the movie was made partly to raise awareness for the soon to be extinct species. Although the movie did raise awareness, the Spix's macaw was declared extinct in the wild. If you haven't already watched the movie, I recommend watching it to learn a little more about the Spix's macaw and have a good time. Here are Rick Sided and the Image of the Sided. Thank you.